Wouldn't you agree that the more convenient it is to use AI creative tools, the more likely you are to start and actually complete a project. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And you may or may not know that I recently conducted a free live course over at the Open Art Platform with whom I am a creative partner. And every time I'd go in there, it seemed like they had added a new feature. And I was so involved with doing the course that I just couldn't update the videos fast enough. So today I want to show you 15 amazing features that Open Art has added to their platform to make your filmmaking much more convenient and all in one place. Place. Some of these things are tool sets I've been wishing for for a really long time. Some of them have been there for a bit, but not since I've done an overall open art update. So if you've seen some of these, do forgive me. But if you haven't, I think you're going to be really pleased with what they have done. Now, there is a lot to cover, but I'm still going to try and make this a short video. So I'm not going to dig too in depth about how you use all these tools. I just want you to be aware of the fact that they are there and show you what they do if you don't know. Let's start with the story area. I've done several videos on the story maker and it was actually the featured tool in our live course and things have changed even since then. So let's go into the music video portion right here and the singing video, which is the lip sync version of their video, has added saving the characters that you create. You're not tied to the outfit that they were wearing in the original photograph that you used. And in the advanced options, you'll see that they've added things like including B-roll shots. So it won't just be lip sync. If you add the B-roll video, then you've got another layer of work you don't have to do. The match video to the beat should be pretty obvious there. They're going to do cuts along with the rhythm of the music and showing captions. That's just built in for you. So you don't have to worry about that. And then of course you have their choice of image models. So you've got several you can choose from. So depending on the type of model you're using, you can choose the appropriate model and same thing with the lip sync. I am a huge fan of the open art lip sync model. I think it does a fantastic job for the price and you have up to 1080p resolution. Here's an example of a video that combines lip sync with b-roll all in one take. you'll see they had the character lip syncing and then they would intersperse video of a record playing or something like that that's not lip sync. In this music making department they have also added into the narrative video a feature which is optional but I think is pretty cool in some cases called the one take style which instead of creating lots of different cuts it just flows the scene as if it was a one take shot. Here's an example of that. Yeah, you subscribe now I will not look for you I will not pursue you But if you do not I will look for you I will find you And I will If you go to the explainer video section, they have added the ability for you to put now a custom character in that explainer video. Here's what that might look like. Are you looking to give your feline friend the best nutrition possible? Let's dive into how to make your own cat food at home. Start with some simple ingredients. First, choose a good protein source like chicken or turkey. In the character vlog, they have added the ability to add a second character to your story. Here's an example where I used my character and Tracy's character and said that we were researching a move to Vancouver, Washington, etc. The background music I chose was something I created in Suno that was about thinking about moving to Vancouver. Now there is so much that's happened in the video section. I'm gonna save it for just a second. We're gonna pop over to the image section. I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things. They've always had a ton of models. And one of the things I really appreciate about open art is the fact that it keeps up with these models pretty quickly. A new model comes out and it is on here for you to use. And one such example of that is Reeve, which is one of my favorite models. I did a video just on this model by itself not that long ago. And now it's here in the open art platform. And one of the things about the Reeve model is it is not censored when it comes 
comes to a lot of celebrities. So now you're able to create scenes that you weren't able to before without a Laura or a reference image. But I mean, I have nothing against reference images. It's part of the beauty of these types of models that we've been getting recently. So I had a picture of Tracy, I had a picture of my logo, and I just prompted Robert De Niro and he showed up. But an amazingly new and cool and exciting feature that has so much potential when you really think about it and so many implications for making more dynamic looking videos is this camera angle control. We can bring in any image and then using this slider, we can rotate it, we can change the camera. We'll look down and we will do close up and I have rotated it about 45 degrees. So now we have this and notice the resolution here. It's magnificent. Let's rotate him the other way and do a top down and we'll say rear view just for fun. So now we have him turned 60 degrees, rear view, top down. Let's get a better look here. So it didn't just adjust him, obviously. It adjusted its view of the entire studio. So then over in video, we can choose a model like Kling 2.1 that does start and end frames. Just go to our history to load the start frame. And we'll go down to the original face forward view. And then for the end frame, we'll choose this closer side view. And we'll just have the prompt camera moves around character as he explains physics. Go with the pro model, go with five seconds and get that going. Then I can click this button right here and quickly reverse those frames, delete that in frame, go back to the history and replace it with this one here with that other view and leave the prompt exactly the same and just click on create and have that baking. And then when I edit those two together, we should have this nice panning motion around the character. And now I'm using Kling Lip Sync to add some speech to this dude. I mean, I have 10 seconds, so I may as well use them, don't you think? Speaking of first and last frames, one of the other additions is the ability to grab a frame to video. That means from an existing video, you can grab any frame you want to be the starting frame of your next video. Generally speaking, you're gonna be doing the last frame if you haven't already generated a last frame. So let's start with a blank slate here. We'll click here and we will click on grab last frame. It automatically puts it in the start frame section so you can use it for the next part of the sequence. If you haven't seen it, we have the add audio to video section, which allows you to add lip sync. Yeah, but don't use the lip sync here. Use this actual lip sync to do this. This is great for generating background sound effects automatically. I've talked about it before. It's hit or miss. It can be hilarious, but now you can just drop any video you want to in here and add sound effects to it. So we just drop in the video that we want and we click on auto sound. And if we want to try to prompt the sound, we certainly can. If there's already sound on the video, you can choose to keep it there. In this case, there's not. So I'm going to say, do not keep original sound and just click on create. Well, that one worked pretty good. <laughs> Now, another big powerhouse feature is their lip sync video section. They now have a wider range of lip sync models to choose from. They even have the latest OmniHuman 1.5. They have Hedra, which is the fastest to generate. Kling works with videos, whereas these others work with still images. My favorite still is the open art lip sync. I think it does a fantastic job of adding motion and realistic lip sync. Let me show you a few quick examples. Here is the open art lip sync video. You know, when I dance, when I move, it's like I'm connecting with something deep or something very ancestral. That's how we express ourselves through, through movement, through rhythm, through that energy that's been flowing through our bodies for generations. Here's OmniHuman. You know, when I dance, when I move, it's like I'm connecting with something deep or something very ancestral. That's how we express ourselves through, through movement, through rhythm, through that energy that's been flowing through our bodies for generations. Here's Hedra. You know, when I dance, when I move, it's like I'm connecting with something deep or something very ancestral. That's how we express ourselves through, through movement, through rhythm, through that energy that's been flowing through our bodies for generations. Here's Creatify Aurora. You know, when I dance, when I move, it's like I'm connecting with something deep or something very ancestral. That's how we express ourselves through, through movement, through rhythm, through that energy that's been flowing through our bodies for generations. So yeah, it's really good, but the price difference is astounding. The open art model, which gave great results, was only 180 credits to run. Whereas Creatify Aurora cost 800 credits, and I'm just not sure the difference is worth it. They have also added video upscale. Now it's been there a minute, but if you haven't seen it yet, they're using Topaz upscaling, which is the best. And it allows you to upscale video all the way up to 4K and do frame interpolation up to 120 frames per second. So that can make a huge difference in how your final videos look. Let's take one of these tornado videos, which is originally a 640 by 360. So very low res. We'll go ahead and pop it up to 2K and we'll do a 60 frame per second interpolation. So here's the original. And here's the upscale.
You also have the ability to restyle your videos just by uploading them here and choosing from any number of styles here. And they have a lot of categories and within those categories, they've got a bunch of different styles. In this case, I added a modeling clay style to the clip. Wouldn't you agree that the more convenient it is to use AI creative tools, the more likely you are to start and actually complete a project. And you can also extend videos, adding more action or time to an existing clip. So here's the original five second clip. Just this older man rocking on his rocking chair and waving. Five seconds, that's it. I just choose that video from the history. We just add the prompt, a bucket of water is poured on his head. Now we've got our original video here of him waving. And then just as he finishes waving, a guy comes in and pours a bucket of water on him. Which then you could put through the restyler saying that everything is on fire and get this. Now I expected everything to be burning and burning until the bucket came in and now he's just got hot lava on his lap. Now another huge addition in the video section is motion sync video. I have done a video covering Runway Act 2 which allows you to guide the motion of your character using your body and your face. But now Open Art has added Open Art Motion which I think does a better job and gives you more flexibility. To get things set up it works the same way with the open art model as it does with runway you're going to create a driving video which in this case looks like this notice the shirt i'm wearing welcome to the bathroom this is where all the cleaning takes place okay and then here was the image i used you can see i told it to use the entire scene the background my face my body is all being used in what it created here welcome to the bathroom this is where all the cleaning takes place the cleaning of me and my family Here's an example where I didn't use the full scene. So here's the driving video. Look, I don't know. I I just got here a few minutes ago myself and there's nobody here. I thought there was gonna be somebody here by now. And then this is the character image. So you see we have the woman with the hair and the outfit, but the background she's in is a school. But the video. Look, I don't know. I'm. I just got has her in this myself. room where the original video was there's shot. There's nobody here. I thought there was gonna be somebody here by now, but I'm looking around, I'm just sitting waiting on the couch for somebody. You'll notice that the lip sync there got a little bit wonky, but now I can take that video and run it through the Kling lip sync model. But before I did that, I took the original audio and I did some voice conversion to it so it's a female voice and then used that audio to drive this lip sync. Look, I don't know. I am I just got here a few minutes ago myself and there's nobody here. I thought there was going to be somebody here by now, but I'm looking around. I'm just sitting waiting on the couch for somebody. Finally, in the audio section, we have some great options for text-to-speech. First of all, we have access to all of the Eleven Labs models. So we could use their Eleven Labs Alpha 3 model, for example, and generate a really super realistic emotional voiceover and generate something like this. Every morning at 9.03, the sky glitches. Just for a second. Birds freeze mid-air. Shadows flicker twice. In addition to the Eleven Labs voices, you also have the ability to clone your own voice with their one-shot voice cloner, which means you upload a piece of audio with the voice that you want cloned, and then you type in what you want it to say, and we'll do it all at once. So for example, click on voice clone. I can either upload an audio reference or I can just record one right here. So here I uploaded this clip of Tracy. It's The Lounge Show with Rob Scott and Bob Doyle. Two veteran broadcasters who love to hear themselves. You get the idea. She's got her announcer voice for something else I do. I type in a script. Hey, sorry to bother you. Can we chat for a few minutes? We have full emotional control. In this case, I just left everything as it is. And then we get this. Hey, sorry to bother you. Can we chat for a few minutes? Is it okay if I sit? Now let's make her angry. We'll slide that slider up here. Click on create. Hey, sorry to bother you. Can we chat for a few minutes? <laughs> okay, well, Is it okay she was so cheerful in the original recording. I guess it's hard to kind of make her angry, but you can see how it affected it. Why don't we just pop up the surprise? Try that one too. Hey, sorry to bother you. Can we chat for a few minutes? Is it okay if I sit? I mean, that's pretty freaking good to have slider control over the emotions like that. I don't even know where else you get that functionality. So there you have it. At least 15 new cool things for you, the AI creative, especially if you're into filmmaking and you like all your tools in one place and you don't have to go from subscription to subscription because a lot of these tools are consolidating. And if you really evaluate where you're spending your money, look over here at Open Art and see if they don't have the functionality you need. You might be able to cancel a couple of things. If these are the types of tools you'd like to keep up to date on, well, why not subscribe to this channel if you haven't already? Because this is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...